and welcome back to my channel i know before you say anything it has been a year okay technically more than a year since i've said that and i'm well aware okay she's an inconsistent girly what can i say I just threw myself more into tiktok and then it ended up forgetting about youtube and i'm sorry okay i promise i promise that hopefully from now on she's going to be a consistent queen and you're going to see hopefully a weekly video from me well i don't want to say that and it doesn't happen but that's what i'm aiming for i thought we'd kick off my little comeback to youtube with a weekly vlog you know something easy something simple you can see what my life is like now like where i'm at i say that like it's changed drastically it really hasn't you get the idea but before we start the vlog i thought i'd give you a little life update you know tell you where i'm at what's going on what's happening just to get you up to speed so first of all i am now 22 I actually did film of what I got for my birthday in 2023, like last year, but I just never ended up posting it and then hence was my downfall of YouTube. But I am now 22, I am a full-fledged adult, I know, it's scary, and I am fully in my truest form. I am a pink girly girl, modern day princess, like pink and gold aesthetic, and I am never ever going back this is what i was born to be and i've tried to suppress it and hide it for years and try and conform to society and be trendy and cool and whatever but this is what i'm meant to be okay a pink and gold barbie princess whatever you want to call it that is me as you can tell and as you will soon tell by most of these videos the whole aesthetic is pink and gold and just all the things girly ultra feminine and i love it i still work at gantt part-time i still have the same little part-time job you know just to pay those bills i also do social media as well now a lot more into that you know influencing if that's what you want to call it content creation and yeah it's a load of fun no I do not have a boyfriend. I would not dream of having one anytime soon. Sorry, I am in my hating men era. I've just been hurt so many times over the last year. I need time to heal and do things for me. Oh yeah, and I've got my driver's license. So you know what that means? Potentially might do some drive with me. I don't know yet, but I'm so glad that I finally got that done. I've obviously got a car and I will show you her at some point, probably throughout this week, because I've decorated the inside with like pink bows and stuff, of course. I think that's all I really need to update you on. Obviously I'll talk to you throughout the week. So without further ado, I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, because I start work at seven on a Monday. <laughs> see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. As promised, I am up early. The time is currently five to seven in the morning on a Monday. Don't get used to this. It is very, very rare that I am up before the sun. I'm up, I'm awake. I can't lie and say that I'm feeling refreshed and oh, I might start getting up earlier more often because I definitely won't. I'm working till four today, so you probably won't see much from me from this day unless I see you on my break. But let me just quickly give you a little fit check. So I've got these pink high-waisted jeans from Zara. They're like my favorite jeans ever they're so cute i've got white i want to say they're like nike court visions or something they're basically like thin air forces baby pink little gant cable knit this is actually from the kids section and it fits like a dream and then underneath that i've got a little purple stripy gant shirt as well which is the main focus of the outfit today but i need this on because it's a little bit chilly in the morning just look at me being a hard-working girly out in the stock room she's taping boxes back together she's folding clothes she's doing it all and she's not loving it finally on my break it's 12 o'clock I was hoping that I would get at 11 because I'm so, so hungry, but here we are. I've had Nutella sandwiches in true cherry fashion, as you will soon realize, it's one of my fave meals. Some wheat crunchies, crisps. Currently drinking a little hot chocolate made with whole milk, actually, which I haven't done before, and this tastes amazing. Got myself a little Actimil shot because, you know, trying to build that immune system. And then I've got a few chocolate bars to balance it all out. As you will soon realize, I am extremely unhealthy and I also don't it's four o'clock you know what that means she's finally finished work she's free so let's go home good evening we are finally back in my gorgeous pink and gold boudoir which i will show you like i'm gonna do like an in-depth room tour i think soon so i won't show you too much now oh, it's been a long day of work so now i feel like an evening of relaxation you know girly time with my sisters in cute pjs speaking of which on the rare occasion that my room actually has a bit of mess in it recently i've actually been such a clean girl i can't even tell you who likes my pjs they're like a little vs dupe from primark i don't know if this angle is terrible but i thought i'd quickly show you just a couple bits that i picked up at work today because i had to get some new work uniform meaning of course free clothes first up i picked up this adorable little baby pink basic like crew neck you know she's something simple but she's cute and obviously she is literally my perfect shade of pink i also picked up this bright red one that says gant obviously across the chest a little oversized moment i got her a little bit bigger and yeah they're both really cute super cozy and of course they were free. 
Also, how slay is my sister? She picked me up a little snack on the way home. And on tonight's dinner menu is garlic Kiev balls, crinkle cut chips, and a cup of curry sauce. Trust me, it doesn't look that appetizing, but I I promise it's good. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention also I've picked up sewing now. Before you know it, I'm gonna be a full-on seamstress. Okay, well, I've done my evening skincare routine looking like a glazed donut. I've done my daily air wrap well nightly i guess air wrap bun that i sleep in now and i am currently watching wizards of waverly place and eating my chocolate bar and drinking out of my stanley cup gotta stay hydrated so i think we'll call it a night and i will see you tomorrow did i mention today was monday good morning it's tuesday and i'm at work again today i'm on a late so i start at half 12 and i finish at half past nine criminal so that's pretty much all i've got planned for today so you again you're probably not going to see much but i've got a busy next couple of days so you'll see more on those i did my little overnight blowout thing which i'm going to do a tutorial on soon because honestly i think it looks amazing and obviously done my glam so pretty much just got to get dressed and go this is today's little work fit check you've actually caught me on a week where i just want to be comfy every day normally i'm like skirts boots and god knows what today i'm wearing my new pink crew neck excuse the dirty mirror and i'm gonna wear the pink flares again because they're gorgeous again with my little white trainers very boring very basic but comfy i'm on a late like i just i want to be cozy this is right before i started work but someone was in the break room so i didn't want to just start talking loudly to my phone okay she's on her break it's currently half past four and i'm thinking i'm gonna pop to primark because my sister said yesterday about this gorgeous pink and white striped towel like beach towel that i just need for my holiday and if you know primark summer stuff if you don't get it straight away it's gone that didn't click because i have my airpods in my hand that's what i'm gonna try and do we're gonna go find that towel it was relatively unsuccessful in primark but i did vlog it for tiktok so i just added a few clips so i didn't have to refilm everything finished work now but we have to do the long trek back to the car because it was so busy earlier i did not get a decent space near the door there she is so i'm all finished it's currently half past eight i'm actually supposed to finish at half nine normally we do get out a little bit earlier anyway just because there's not much to do when the shop closes at nine so we normally leave about quarter past nine but can you see me is that better but instead i got out at half past eight because i did my first ever a thousand pound sale since i worked there for like a year and a half and normally when you do a thousand pound sale like over that because i did over that you get like a gift voucher or something to spend in gantt but they stopped doing that conveniently a couple months ago so instead i was allowed to go half an hour early well just i was allowed to get early so yeah we can kick off a lovely cozy evening a little bit sooner so let's go home okay i've just got in and i've had two parcels arrive and i think i know what both of them are so i feel like now would be a good time to show you a little project that i've been working on that i'm very very proud of by the way it may not be to everyone's taste but i have been restoring this barbie doll if you are not familiar this is from my favorite barbie film like og barbie film the princess and the pauper this is princess annalise she is gorgeous she's pretty much my whole aesthetic the whole like blonde pink and gold thing just love her and i bought this doll i think for like 30 pounds on vinted the hair was destroyed the dress was ripped it had like a massive gaping hole in it the crown snapped like i have i've done all of this right so i sewed up her dress there's no hole i sprayed it with glitter spray because it wasn't sparkling anymore um she doesn't have any shoes but we'll get to that in a sec i did restore her hair i'm not gonna lie i didn't do the best job but it looks better than it did like it was a big tatty mess like i tried the straw thing a few worked a few didn't but it definitely looks better than what it did and i tried to redo the little hairstyle she has and i've refixed her crown so you know what job well done now all she needs is shoes and a stand which is what's in these got a little flower stanley knife so let's rip into both of these okay these are the shoes they look a little bit big i'm not gonna lie but maybe that's just from my point of view i ordered this from vinted they were just unlike let's drop one it's a pack of like random barbie shoes that she was selling and all i really wanted was these ones they're not exactly what she wears but they're a standard pink barbie high heel so i thought you know what they'll do because i for the life of me could not find the right shoes this one should be the stand that i ordered so i can put her on a shelf hope it's not too big though oh i have multiple stands apparently um i'll figure that out but either way now she's got a stand and she's got her little shoes oh how cute okay but how perfect does she look obviously you don't get like a before because i didn't actually take any before pictures in general but trust me she looks so so good and i'm actually so proud of my little project oh my god i'm obsessed with her and now i really want to do an erica too 
just had to run and put the bins out. I think it's time for dinner. And on tonight's menu will be a bachelor's pasta. And this one is the best one. Because long story short, I am no chef. I do not enjoy cooking. This, this is my idea of cooking, okay? Putting food in the microwave and waiting for three minutes. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, okay? It's never gonna change. I'm not healthy and I hate cooking. In general, food's just not my area, you know? Unless we're talking about chocolate or ice cream, in which case I am fully there. Doesn't look the most appetizing. The bowl kind of exploded with the water in the microwave, but I promise it tastes a lot better than it looks. Got me some apple juice as well, and I am watching Love Island All Stars. I only just started it literally today, but guys, I can't lie. I'm hooked. Okay, jump scare. <laughs> I've eaten my dinner. It was fabulous, of course. It was cooked by me. I've done my skincare, and I've put my hair again in my little air wrap bun, like I said tutorial coming soon and i'm eating some more of my chocolate bar while i watch another episode of love island and then i'm gonna edit some tiktoks because i tend to end up doing it at midnight for some reason and then i go to sleep so i will see you tomorrow hopefully i'm a little bit busier tomorrow oh you haven't seen much of the last few days because i've just been at work you've just seen the evenings so hopefully i've got i think now like three days off so you should see a bit more of my day today so i'll see you on wednesday Good morning and happy Wednesday. I don't have work today, finally. Me and my friend are actually going shopping. We're going for a little girly shopping spree, you know, gonna go for some lunch. I've also got a laser hair removal appointment. In the midst of all of that, it literally takes like 10 minutes. Obviously I can't show you that, but I'm on, I think I wanna say like my seventh session out of 10, so I'm nearly done. And then she'll be nice and hair free, which I, Pretty much kind of am but either way if you're thinking about getting laser hair removal oh my god do it if you want me to do a separate video talking about that and like my journey my experiences with it i 100 percent will because i strongly recommend it to everyone so yeah i'm already done my makeup got glam i need to leave in literally like five minutes so let me quickly show you my outfit again ignore the slightly messy room but here is today's fit gone for my classic white knee high boots you will see these a lot when i do like styling videos this little beige pleated skirt from stradivarius this top from Gan, it's like a little blouse. I don't know, I mean, it does need a steam, I can't lie, but I haven't got time and I can't be bothered. So I think it'll do for now. A little pink Prada bag, love it. And oh, this adorable little like pearl bow necklace. So I'm gonna head out now. I might get a few snippets of us shopping, but I imagine she probably doesn't want to be on camera, so I won't film too much, but you'll see me later. So let's go. We have arrived and it's time to start spending all my money. First stop was of course Primark, the mothership, and I had a little mooch by myself for a little while just while I was waiting for my friend to text me and tell me where she was because she was already there. Turns out I'd actually already walked past her and we were both in the shop at the same time. Okay, so we've just come to this Primark edit section. Tell me why there is something that is 60 pounds and that it looks like that. Primark, what are you playing at? In boots, and I've just realized that Revolution are doing a little Becca moment, because they don't exist anymore. They're probably not gonna get claimed for it. But that, my friend, is Becca packaging. I'm about to go in for my laser appointment. Okay, I'm in my laser appointment. I've just got to get undressed. So obviously I can't show you this bit, and I really need to hurry up. But I'm really, really nervous, but hopefully it takes like 10 minutes, so I'll see you after. I just had my session. It was over so, so quickly, and honestly, a little bit painful this time, like more painful than last time. And actually there was a trainee in on this one, so I had two people looking at my it was fine and in case anyone was wondering i always go to the therapy clinic to get mine done all the girls are so lovely and they make you feel so comfortable my friend's just walking back to me she just went off to do a couple of bits by herself now i think it's time for lunch because i am starving also i'll probably do like a little haul when i get home of all the bits that i buy today we have come to ask italian and we're starting off with some lovely cheese garlic bread hello this is my beautiful friend enis hello slightly australian but more english more english <laughs> Right, this is our main. She got a spaghetti something pomodoro, like tomato spaghetti with prawns or something, isn't it? Yeah. And mine is rigatoni beef ragu cheese souffle. No, I'm joking. Uh, but it's got meatballs in it and it tastes really nice. And I'm gonna eat every single bit of it because bang, right. We've come to Hollister. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm on the hunt for like really nice low rise wide leg jeans and I've picked up a couple of pairs. We're going to try them on and we're going to give them a whirl. I've never tried Hollister jeans so I'm going into this with a positive mindset. And here's the first pair and there's honestly no point trying on the second pair because they're exactly the same, just a bigger size because I wasn't sure but these are actually too big and they're not long enough. Like they come down to my feet but I need them to be longer, you know, because I just, I don't like them to be straight. I want them to have a bit of like bag, do you know what I mean? I mean, fit wise, they're cute. It's a shame because the waist actually fits perfectly, but I couldn't find any long ones. Right, we've done plenty of shopping and we've stopped for a light snack. I've gone for a fruit shoot 
and a little Smarties McFlurry and you've got a um, Maltesers McFlurry and an Oasis. It's lovely. Okay, but how cute are these underwear? I mean, I'm not buying them, of course, because I only wear nude underwear because it goes under all my clothes and you can't see it. Cool, cheeky. If you don't know, this is one of like my favourite shops. Oh, those dressing gowns are cute. I can't remember if I've used this one yet or not or if I even like the smell of it. You know, the amount of times I've actually smelt bombshell, I thought I liked it, but I smelled it this time and honestly, I'm not that impressed. Lots of you are recommending this bronzer and I'm in desperate need of a new one. Okay, but seriously, how cute is the Flying Tiger Valentine section? Oh, these mugs are so cute. They have got so many cute pieces in here. I think even for Galentines, like all of this stuff would be the perfect little table set out. I really want one of these little mason jar cups like this, but I really wish that the red hearts were pink. See, this is why I love Flying Tiger because I love all this little gimmicky stuff like this, all the little yeah. like desk setups and the like trolleys it. and baskets. How yeah. adorable. Guys, when I tell you I had so much restraint, oh, there was so much I wanted to buy. There was these really cute pajamas in Boo Avenue and they were on sale. But honestly, now I'm thinking about it, like it actually wouldn't have been that deep if I bought them. But your girl is being, I was gonna say professional. No, she's being mature, she's being manageable with her money. She doesn't need them, okay? I've got plenty of pajamas, don't need them. But I did get a few essential little bits. Like I said, I'll show you when I get home. Let's go home, I'm a little bit cold, and I think I might have a hot chocolate one again, actually. So I will see you at home. I'm finally home. I've chucked up my hair just because it was getting in my way. I'm gonna take my makeup off now, and I'm just gonna have a nice, chilled evening. Why well, say that? I've got a lot of editing to do, if I'm being honest. I just wanna like bulk edit, because apparently TikTok is gonna take like all of our drafts or like post all of our drafts or something very very soon i don't know i keep seeing stuff about it on my for you page and it's scaring me like i have drafts in my tiktok from lockdown that like i don't want to get rid of because they were fun ones with my family but like i'm not going to post them because i don't know just they're just for me do you know what i mean might have to go through screen record all the ones that i actually want to keep and keep them in my camera roll edit all the ones that i need to get rid of and god knows what quickly though i just show you what i picked up at shopping today i honestly didn't really get that much and it's actually nothing exciting but there might be a couple of you who want to see, so let me show you. Just popped on my cosy dressing gown. Oh, it's the softest thing ever. Let me show you what I picked up. First up, I picked up these little cute cushion covers from Primark. They're just basic pink ones because I really, where is it? I've really gone off the design of this cushion, but it was the only pink cover I had. So I got some new ones. I think there's actually two on here, so got a spare. Also picked up uh, some more undies. I do prefer myself a G-string or two, but you know, when girls got that, little time of the month we need something a little bit bigger so got some of these the little hipster ones and they're like the no vpl like invisible ones also picked up some baby wipes that i just want to keep in my work bag you know for well just whatever also picked up i really hope okay for a second i thought it said shower cream body lotion i need to get back into the habit of moisturizing like daily or at least when i get out the shower you know and this one smells really really nice i feel like you can really count on dove you know dove just sounds like it's smooth. This one has lotus flower extract and rice milk. It just sounds really fresh and like floral. I need a new bronzer desperately because this is currently the one that I'm working with. It's a Becca one. I've used this, not this exact one, but I've used this bronzer religiously for four years. As you can see, this is the last one. I've got none left. Becca doesn't exist anymore. Neither does the bronzer. A lot of people said that this physician's formula one was really, really good. So I'm going to give this a try. And I mean, she was 30 she was 15 so i guess we'll see and finally i picked up some ultra dex fresh breath spray i just like to keep this in my work bag again after i've eaten food on my break you know i'm just conscious of like talking to customers and stuff so i always like to keep a little breath spray in my bag okay this is probably no surprise this is the usual state at this point of the evening again done my skincare done my hair i'm watching love island again i'm editing just put on the pink pillowcases look at how friggin adorable that color is they're literally perfect i am obsessed also i just put this dove body lotion that i bought today all over my body oh my god it smells unreal and my body literally feels smooth as anything just remember that i have not updated the vlog in a little while it's been a couple hours i've edited so much i've watched a few episodes of love island and oh my goodness it's actually really juicy i can't lie i don't really know what's going on with my hair right now the fringe just ignore it it dawned on me that i haven't actually eaten anything today other than ask italian and little mcflurry earlier so i'm very hungry so i think i'm gonna make myself some sandwiches and get a packet of crisps, just have a little tea lunch, you know, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So I guess I will see you in the morning. 
Okay, a little bit of a jump scare. I'm about to do my morning skincare, hence why I've got my little cloud headband on, get glam and everything. I've got a few videos to film today, and later I've got to drop one of my sisters off to her hair appointment because she can't park near wherever she's got to go. I've got to go meet my other sister for a bit of shopping or whatever she's got to do. I think she's got to sort out her phone bill or something and she needs moral support to do that. And then I've got to go back and pick up my other sister from her hair appointment and bring her home. It's kind of a busy day. I guess. Right, this is my nutritious breakfast for the morning. Choco hoops and some semi skin milk because I can't find any lacto free. Okay, skip to me being like full glam, hair's done and everything. I just had some breakfast as you saw, very powerful breakfast, some choco hoops and I'm obviously staying hydrated. Just had to call the dentist and make an appointment, like a routine checkup. Oh, I, guys, I am traumatized by the dentist. I hate teeth, like they absolutely terrify me. Even brushing my own teeth, I get scared, but in light and oak. I just had a little parcel arrive so I thought that we could open it together. Got my little flower Stanley knife again. I don't need because it has a tear here sign. It's from Give Me Cosmetics. The Lash Growth Serum. I think this is new and they've sent it to me to try out so I've got to stick with that for like I think six to eight weeks. This one is the one I'm most excited for. I believe it is their Mother's Day bundle. Look at how adorable. We've got a little fleece headband. We've got a reusable cotton pad, makeup remover, satin scrunchies which I love sleeping in. We've got, we've got a body spray, body scrub, day cream. We've got a hair mask. I love the Give Me Cosmetics hair mask. Shampoo and conditioner. If you're struggling what to get your mum for Mother's Day, I tell you this is it. You'll probably find it linked on my TikTok shop, so head on over there if you want to grab this for your mum. It's been a few hours now, and I just wanted to show you my beautifully tidy room. I have de-dusted all of my shelves and like had a little re of a few things that were just bugging me. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Now I need to get dressed, and I need to go pick up my sister, and then meet my other sister, and you know the whole palaver, I explained it earlier. So I'll see you in a sec for another fit check. Oh, she's a poet and she didn't know it. As promised, here is the outfit check for today. So I've gone for a slightly dark academia vibe, I guess, or just a dark color palette today. Got my little denim jacket on that I actually bought in a charity shop for I think like a fiver. And honestly, look at how beautiful. It's got like a little puff sleeve. I think it's perfect. Plain like red or like burgundy t-shirt from Primark, I think. Gone for my little Kurt Geiger bag. This has honestly been one of my go-to bags recently. Absolutely love it. A little skirt that I actually tailored myself with my sewing machine. Um, I think this was from New Look like four years ago. Black tights and my Steve Madden Mary Janes that I found on Vinted. That honestly, one of the best things I've ever found on Vinted. Look at them. They're not for everyone, but I think they're gorgeous. Oh, that was such an unnecessarily long journey, but I had to go all the way one way and then come back all the way, like past my house the other way. It's a long story. Anyway, dropped my sister off at a hairdresser appointment. I'm going to go pick her up, I think at like half seven, eight, and it's currently four o'clock now. So I've got a bit of time to kill. My other sister who's coming to meet me is nearly here. She got stuck a loads of traffic. Can't lie, I'm kind of peckish. I feel like I need some sort of light snack pick me up because otherwise I'm going to combust. I'm very, very hungry actually. I'm aiming not to really spend any money as I, I did all this yesterday. Do you know what I mean? But I can't make any promises, so. Been to Ian, sorted out her phone contract, and we got a little extra something which I'm not going to tell you because the person who this involves might be watching. But we got something really, really good. Now we're going to go get a little pretzel, a big pretzel actually, because I'm hungry, I need a snack, and I've not missed a pretzel in a while. Banging, look at that, eh? Dripping in Nutella, that's what we like to see. Right, I think I'm going to get these ones for me, and I'm going to get these ones for my sister because I'm just so nice. I'll put the sign back. Home. Looks like we've got some fajita brewing for dinner. How lovely. This is the one that we use. Okay, she's home. She's out of breath for some reason. I just ran up the stairs. I'm about to go and have dinner. Like you saw, I'm going to have fajitas. Love a fajita. That pretzel as well was absolutely banging. Plan for this evening. Going to have my dinner. Go and get my sister from a hair appointment. Luckily, I convinced my other sister to come with me. So I don't have to go alone. I'm going to come back, get cozy for the evening, of course watch Love Island, do a bit of editing. Pretty much my evenings more or less are the same sort of thing. Watching something, doing a bit of editing, eating some chocolate, because I did buy some really nice raspberry white chocolate batons from Hotel Chocolate. If you know, 
you know i'm about to head out and go pick up my sister from a hair appointment she had like her extensions like refitted and like colored on everything exciting i've just put on a little comfy fit to go and drive um excuse the cloud headband fringe has gone back my hair actually needs a wash but that is a job for tomorrow one of my favorite jumpers ever so let's go get her okay ignore the appearance i know it's shocking but we come to pick up emily it's pouring it down and she unexpectedly is going to be another half an hour so we found a random car park to park in and now we're in tesco and getting a drink because we're dying of thirst have we got some time to go she parked it too far i did i also caught my finger in my umbrella which really hurt it's much better than yours in it, I love rainbow drops. That's, that's how you get a bag anyway. Yeah, yeah, in it. What else will you get? Oh, yeah, get the, get the striped things. We like them, don't we? Mm. Nice. Yeah, I found one with lots of them um, green ones. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Ignore the hair, I don't know what's going on. I just got rid of a rather huge spider in my landing which honestly you guys i am absolutely terrified of spiders right i'm actually consciously like now looking around my room making sure there's none and i saw one crawling up the wall outside and i thought you know what if i don't get it now while well, i know where it is then it could end up in my room and that would just traumatize me so i re i literally you can see how out of breath i am i legged it ran and got the hoover and sucked it up i'm sorry if some people don't like that okay i try and be a kind person to all god's creatures or whatever but not spiders they don't belong anywhere near me i'm sorry you picked the wrong house buddy now i'm gonna chill in my nice comfy pink bed and i'm gonna eat my pink little batons watching love island and you know what i can't be bothered to edit tonight i honestly just want to chill and have one night where i don't edit until like two in the morning so i guess i'm gonna go to sleep after this and i will see you on friday good morning guys i think this is the rawest that you've seen me on any day this week but i just thought i'd be transparent this is how your girl wakes up i've had a bit of a lie in today and i'm actually having a bit of a chilled morning i'm watching love island i never do this normally i wake up straight away do my skincare like make my bed and everything and then i get started like getting ready to make content and stuff but you know i just thought i just want to chill for the morning so i'm watching love island we just had a little parcel arrive so again i thought we could open it together of course it is a given at this point i use my little pink stanley Ooh, okay i think i know what this is it's coming like a dust bag and everything wow got my name on it <gasps> So we've got three shades. I believe I did actually pick these shades and I'm pretty sure I picked right. I don't really wear foundation, but this is like a skin serum sort of mix. Hyaluronic acid and peptide. So it's, I guess it's basically skincare in a foundation. So I am intrigued to give it a try. My hair, I can explain. I've got hair syrup in, which is the best hair oils you will ever discover. If you don't already know what they are, let me introduce you. So my ultimate go-to is the Rapunzel hair oil. Honestly, this makes your hair shoot out of your head. I can't explain it. Like my hair has grown so much and feels so much thicker because of this hair syrup. And then I just put a little bit of the vitamin C me on my ends just to nourish and hydrate them and make sure they're not really that dry. Hair syrup has been marinating for about two hours while I've done some YouTube editing. So now it's time to have a shower and wash all of this. All right, let's be honest, this isn't the worst state that you've caught me in this week. Just had a shower, I'm all nice and fresh. I've got an ad to film for like a blow dry spray. So that's why I had to have a shower early so I could get the good lighting. And I just put on another pair of PJs because you know what? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving my house. And the only other thing I've got to do today is more editing and replying to emails. So. I might as well be comfy while I'm doing it. I have tidied up my room, freshened up my bedspread and everything. Obviously got Love Island on in the background and I'm about to have some lunch, have a little break because I've been editing actually all morning. This is what's on the menu. We've got some Nutella sandwiches, We've got a blue ribboned chocolate bar, um, some jammy dodgers, little mini ones, some quavers. I picked up some bourbons because I made myself a little hot chocolate as well. So I'll see you after I've had my lunch. Jesus, that light is so bright. It's been a few hours now. I have air wrapped my hair, as you can see, sitting in George Washington uh, limbo for the moment while I let them set. And I've just had another couple parcels arrive. So of course, we're gonna open them together. I thought it'd be nice for you to see like what sort of PR and stuff I get throughout the week, I guess, or just things that I've ordered myself because I have no self-control when it comes to spending money. Anyway, let me show you. Two parcels arrived. I believe this is from eye crush this was sent to me this was gifted a really pretty like rose blushy pink satin slip dress how gorgeous 
I'm excited to try that on. I'm obviously going to do a TikTok in it and style it and whatever. So head on over and follow my TikTok actually, if you haven't already. And check out the old Instagram as well while you're at it. Next up, we're going to need the pink Stanley knife. I've been on the hunt for this for a little while. It's been out of stock like everywhere. The Tanologist Extra Dark Self Tanning Mousse is the express one that claims to work in like an hour okay i've just put on the tanologist tan and i'm gonna leave it for it says an hour right i i mean if if i'm in a rush or like i'm doing it last minute then 100 percent i will put it to the test for an hour for now i think as i got a bit of time i'm gonna leave it for an hour and a half i think max to get a nice bit of color and I've, I've really blended around my hands i'm hoping that this is gonna look nice it has a guide color but it's very light like there's not much of a guide color to really go with but Fingers crossed, it looks nice. While I'm waiting for the tan to develop, I am just gonna sort out my room. There's like a few boxes from the PR and parcels and stuff that needs to chuck in the bin. And just have a quick tidy up because there's a few bits on my floor that's bugging me. And then we'll see what we're gonna do about dinner because I have no idea. All right, fast forward about an hour and a half. I've washed the tan off. Can't see it as much as when I, or well, actually, to be fair, now that I'm looking at it, there, there's a little bit of colour there. I think when I wake up in the morning, like my sister said, like even once you wash tan off, it still develops a little bit. So I'll see it in the morning. It was on for an hour and a half. But when I was doing it, I remember actually that I fully like moisturised my whole body and like soaked myself in moisturiser earlier. So that's probably why I didn't take as well, because normally when I fake tan, I do it on dry skin. I mean, there's a little bit of colour there. I only wanted a natural glow anyway, but I'll see what it looks like in the morning. In terms of dinner, embrace yourself. <laughs> This is what I eat, okay? Rice, plain white rice, sweet corn, and a chicken and veg pie. I, look, I don't make the rules, okay? Everyone else has gone out. They're with their boyfriends and God knows what. So I had to improvise. This is genuinely what happens when I end up cooking for myself, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guessed it. I'm watching Love Island. And I'm nearly all caught up, which is good, but also kind of sad because now I have nothing to binge. Good morning. I know I'm starting this one in a different place today. Happy Saturday. I realized I didn't actually close off the vlog last night. Sorry, your girl was tired. And honestly, I just chilled, watched Love Island and then fell asleep. I'm all caught up now. As you can see, she's all ready for the day. I'm not actually leaving the house today. I haven't really got much planned if I'm being honest. I just flicked my hair though with that pink like thermal hot brush that's like viral on TikTok at the minute. Honestly, in love with it. I'm not gonna put on any makeup or anything. I've done my skincare. I'm not really leaving the house apart from to go pick my sister up from the station. That is literally it. I'm just having a nice chilled one. I really am just completely today. I don't wanna film anything. I've got like ideas in my head, but I'm like, no, honestly, just take one day where I don't do anything content related, you know? I've got work tomorrow. So I think I'm honestly just gonna end the weekly vlog here because I already feel like it's quite long. And also, like I said, I've got work all day tomorrow. You won't really see much of what I do. So I think this will be the last day. And in terms of what I'm doing today, like I said, could not tell you, let's just see where the day takes us. For my breakfast, I am cooking my signature, at least I call it my signature, little Nutella toasty, sort of fried toasty thing. And trust me, it bangs. Essentially, you make a Nutella sandwich, but you butter the outside of the bread as well, and then you just fry it. But something about it is just, oh, room's a bit of a mess honestly what's new and i don't know why it has all happened this week because normally my room is like spotless this year but whatever anyway here's a little quick fit check i'm about to pop out and get my sister from the station i didn't want to go in my pajamas because i want to get back into them when i get home and it just won't feel as cozy you know gone for a little matching set almost just from boohoo these big baggy like barbie joggers how adorable and then the matching little like barbie track top oh i'm obsessed i love this set it's so comfy i look cute and i've also got my little fake little ugg boot things on um so yeah just a little comfy fit to go and pick her up from the station which is literally like 10 minutes away so i'll see you there first i have been ordered to take out my bins which of course are pink courtesy of me Right, I thought I'd quickly, while I'm in here and I've got a couple minutes before I need to leave, show you just a few little cute details that I put into the interior of my car. Starting off, of course, a pink phone holder had to be done. These adorable little flower clips and my Pink Sands Yankee Candle vent clips. I think that that whole setup looks so adorable, don't you? Got like the odd extra one here and over there. Got a cute little pink bow around my gear stick, of course, and a pink charging cable. And from the other night, I have found endless rainbow drops in my car. And also, sorry, it's so dusty. It does need a hoover, to be fair. Got these little pink cup coaster things. My pink gum that's always in here. Emily left her mess. 
in my car how dare she oh cinderella i always have cinderella sitting on that back seat there so i always have a passenger and then i also put little pink bows on the backs of the headrests as well how cute am i i also have a bumper sticker which i'll show you isn't it just the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life got my sister being an absolute angel again get me another milk oreo bar in case you can't tell these are like my favorite thing to eat at the moment also pick me up another hair mask because mine is seriously running out and this is literally the best hair mask ever it's been a few hours now i feel like i've just had a nap even though i actually haven't but either way i'm a little bit tired but we've got kebab on the way that is on the menu for tonight a lovely kebab takeaway because why not just in my sister's room actually if you don't recognize the background um which is helping one of my sisters get ready because she's going out a little night out why not so me and my other sister and my mum were just in here having a little girly time while she was getting ready and also i had to style my mum's hair every time she washes her hair I have to dry and style it without fail or my sister but either way regardless it ends up being me but it's just because I'm just so good at hair do you know what I mean I did okay granted yeah, this doesn't look the most appetizing but trust me it, it goes down pretty hard I can't lie good evening and welcome to the final evening I guess of this vlog my stomach is feeling very very full of kebab honestly I don't really know why I eat them because then I I feel like afterwards like my mouth's dry I feel a little bit greasy even after I've washed my hands and I'm like my belly just feels whoop. but regardless they're good at the time they're, they're hot for like two seconds and then they go cold like that as soon as they touch the air I don't understand kebabs but either way it's done so now I'm looking for a new series to binge okay I did I was gonna sit and like read my book but I just thought you know what I want a new series okay so I'm giving good omens a try I've seen a bit about it on TikTok and also I love David Tennant and Michael Sheen and those two together Together, love like that video from lockdown i'm pretty sure where they're showing like what they painted and when they're arguing about like he was in twilight and he was in harry potter whatever i think it's hilarious so i just thought like that off-screen chemistry has got to be on screen do you know what i'm saying and so far it's pretty good i'm only on the first episode and i'm already liking it i've got a candle lit just to set the mood it's a little yankee candle i believe it's called snowflake kisses and yes it smells absolutely divine i'm actually nearly out of it though i feel like by the time i've burned through it it will be like springtime when i won't need to light candles anymore i mean technically i don't really light them for warmth obviously it's only like two little bits of fire but mmm I don't really burn candles in summer. There's there's no point, do you know what I mean? This is definitely the last evening of the vlog. I just feel like we can end it here. Like I said, I'm only at work tomorrow, so you're not going to see much. But I feel like we've had a nice sort of chilled week back into this. Um, it's, There wasn't really much that went on this week for me. So maybe in the future, I'll try and pick a busier week when I do a weekly vlog. But for now, I hope that you did enjoy the video and you enjoyed my little comeback to YouTube. And I promise, I promise, I'm going to try my best to be so much more consistent. And let me know what videos you want to see going forward, you know. And I will try my best to deliver. For now, though, I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch Good Omens, a couple of episodes. Eat my chocolate, drink some water and whatever because I'm so dehydrated from that kebab. And I'm going to edit the rest of this video, actually. So I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.